Well, I'm chatting to Roy Mason, manager of Steeton AFC. A good afternoon, Roy. Hi, Steve. How are you? All yeah, right? not too bad. Good, good. Bit cold, but uh, fantastic yeah. afternoon. Yeah, it has been a bit cold, but uh, when you have a good win, I think uh, the cold seems to subside a bit, really, as well. So, yeah, I don't think our lads have felt it too much today. Yeah. Started off a bit, you know, a bit cagey for both sides, but then you, you got into the game and. Uh, an excellent goal, the first one from, uh, was it Oli Hunter who got yeah, the first one? Yeah, Oli's, um, you know, from left back now, he's scored four goals in the last three games for us and it was a great free kick that he's put in there as well. Uh, obviously the pitch, I don't think, helps either team, you know, we, we like to try and get the ball down and play a bit of free-flowing football and yeah. that was never going to be the case on there, so, yeah. yeah, really pleased with the way we started. And of course you got another goal just before half-time, which must have uh, settled the nerves a little bit. Yeah, because it's always a good time to score just before half-time. Um, 1-0, bit of a dangerous score for us because they'd been in win and made a good save just before um, we actually got the second one. So I felt it was the right time for us to score and uh, it really gave us that platform then to go on and yeah. uh, win the game in the second half. Well, at half time, what did you what did you say to the lads? More of the same or uh, no? We, did you have um, some we, chosen we, words. We had, we had a few. Not to, obviously we weren't critical at half time because we were fully aware of the conditions and how bad the pitch was that uh, it wasn't going to enable us to move the ball as quickly as we'd like to do. Um, I just felt that the midfield probably weren't getting up and supporting the front two as much as we like. The front two were a little bit isolated. Yeah. I thought our pressing could have been a little bit better than it was. Um, and also as well, I felt we needed to be a bit more ruthless in the final third. We'd had some good chances, we hadn't taken them and uh, the half-time talk was really, let's get the third goal, but yeah. once we get the third, let's yeah. go for a fourth or fifth and, uh, yeah. and really put teams to bed, which yeah. we haven't been doing in the past. I think what was quite apparent to see 65, 70 minutes on was, was the fitness in your team. Yeah, I mean, we'll always say that. I mean, one of the things that we drill into the players is, um, you know, about training. We work very hard in training. Um, I think fitness is a freebie. We should be as fit as anyone, if not the fittest side in the league. Yeah. But it's also important, you know, whether you're playing uh, sort of teams near the bottom of the league or the top of the league, that uh, you're strong in the final third of the game. And we always come strong in the final third of the game because of the fitness levels. Yeah. And when you've got someone like Lee Riley on the bench, it's always a... Uh... It's always a bonus. Yeah, it, it is a bonus. Uh, I mean, we've got a bit of a luxury now. We've got quite a few players to pick from. Um, Lee was missing for the little town game a couple of weeks ago after his wedding. Um, Alex and uh, Grez have done really well. Um, so they got the nod and, uh, you know, Reels is fine about it. And uh, he showed the perfect response when he came in by banging a couple. Uh, I think he'd probably be disappointed he didn't get three, but, uh, yeah. you know, uh, great response from Lee as well. Yeah, like I say, difficult conditions, but you march on to the semi-final stage. Do you know you're playing that in the semi-finals? No, the draw's not been made from that yet, but um, we know it'll be at a neutral venue, so, uh, you know, we'll look forward to whoever we play, because I think, you know, when we're on our game, on our day, we're capable of beating any side in this league. Yeah, and as for the league, uh, who's up next for Sir Steeton? Um, well, we're back at home action next week, where we've got Newsom, which, uh, you know, Obviously, they've been having a really good season, looking very strong. They've signed a couple of lads from YM. So, we know it's going to be a really tough game for us next week. But, uh, you know, when we're on our game and we're playing at home, I don't think we fear anybody. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get ourselves on because we've got about another hour and 15 minutes to get on. But uh, thanks for chatting us on Drystone Radio. Yep, and thanks for coming over, Steve. It's always appreciated. Cheers, Cheers buddy. Thank, Thank you. you.